Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to another Saturday morning mix. I'm super excited because I love creating um, this day because I could kind of get a little bit more, not that I don't get more creative like during the week, but I actually get to take my time and think of something that I want to do that I haven't done before. So I'm super excited. So I'm going to show you um, what we're using for my card today. I am using, oh, also, before I forget, I saw a hashtag, um, I believe it's from Miss Anna White, and I believe they're called Bunnies of March, um, so I kind of wanted to go with the bunny theme, so I'm going to show you what we're using. I'm using my newest um, stamp set for my uh, latest release called Painting Bunnies, and I use the, um, of course, the little bunny die, and I also use only the Easter portion of Happy Easter, and then the little... Um, the stamps here and I didn't use the bunny die I actually used the little dies for the little uh, butterflies and flowers okay so we're using that along with my stitched belly band dies and the only um, die that I'm using from this set is this heart right here okay and then I am using my happy Easter dies and I'm only using uh, the word happy this time and then I'm using my favorite cute card the cute card dies, and this is my version of the mini slim line. And I'm using the actual base because this comes with the base of a card, the base of the card. And I'm also using the embossed layer um, for my card. Okay, so I'm going to explain to you. I'm going to show you the card that I made using that set. This is how cute it is. Now, this is actually I did pop this up and I did use that die for this particular card. And you see how it's like there's lots of coloring to do. And I wanted to do something for the people who don't like to do all of this coloring. I wanted to show you a different idea. And I saw a video, I came across the video in the middle of the night the other night when I couldn't sleep. I believe it was called like spotlight co coloring or spotlight um, colored die cutting. I can't remember exactly what it was called, but basically, I'm going to show you in a second. Let's go ahead and get all these pieces down. This little extra piece I actually just cut out on my own because this size is going to be in between the two sizes that we're using here today. So let's go ahead and get this down first and then I'll explain to you my card because it might sound just a, little wee, a wee bit confusing. So let's go ahead and get this down first. Okie dokie. So we're just going to go ahead and line this up the best we can on here. Okay, and then what we are going to do, so I already stamped on my actual card. So let me show you. So what I did was I stamped this image twice. I stamped it once on here, okay, on the actual, uh, the, the card, the layer that I'm gonna be putting on here. And then I stamped it again on the um, watercolor paper. And then this is where I use that little die to go ahead and just cut out a portion of it. And then when you cut out a portion of it, that's the only part that you're actually going to color. Okay, so I am going to go. Then I also use the little extra flowers and I kept those black and white and I used the little die to cut those out there. And we're just gonna go, I was going to um, layer, I mean, pop this up, but we're just gonna put it directly down onto our card. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and get this down here, like so. And then you can see, like I said, I did all my stamping already because I didn't want this video to be too long for you guys. Um, and I went ahead and I stamped Easter, okay? So this is the portion that I colored right here, okay? And what I did was I used my favorite. These are like, you know, I try to use like my, I have the Karen markers. I have the, oh, a few Copics and I have a couple of other different. And I always go back to this marker here. This is my favorite one. This is the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. And for the, the little sky portion, I used a light blue. And for the grass, I used May Green. And I kind of like, combine these two together for the her, the little ears and this is light carmine and flesh color um and then i use this here what's this one mid uh, mid brown for the little paintbrush 
And then I use this gray, it's called light gray for the actual bunnies. And then I also use this one again. Um, this is the light carmine for the actual little Easter eggs, okay? Um, so anyway, so this is basically how this, this whole concept is. So what you wanna do is just go ahead and you're, all you're gonna do is color what's on the die. And then you're just gonna go ahead and just line it up like you should on there. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this down with this adhesive here. And I backed it here with some foam just to pop it up, okay? So this, I'm gonna go ahead and line it up with the little stamp, just like so. Hopefully I could do, line it up the best I can. There we go. Let's put that down to hold that down. And then what I did was I cut out happy right here. I cut out the word happy, and this is just gonna go like, oopsie, no, was good. those magnets are really strong. That's just gonna go right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the adhesive on here really quick. So this, I'm gonna move this out of the way. So this is just gonna go like so right here. Happy Easter. Let's go ahead and just put these little magnets on there to hold that down. This one's okay. Um, so what we're gonna do, we are going to go ahead and put some glossy accents on the little paintbrush here, just like so. And then on the little paint drops of paint that are coming off the paintbrush. And then we're gonna put some more glossy, we're gonna go ahead and just put some glossy accents on our eggs here, why not? And I did make some little polka dots on that little white egg there. Okie dokie. And that's it. This saves you for if you're like I said, if you know, if you don't like to color, um, you know, images that have a whole bunch of stuff on it, this is the perfect card for you. Yeah, I think that is it. I'm just gonna leave it alone, just like so. And that should be dry. And then that's it, everyone. That is my easy card for today. I felt very weird about not coloring in the whole thing, but I thought this was kind of cool how I um, just colored just that little, I think it's called spot coloring, I think what it's called. I'm not 100% sure, but um, I just saw, came across this video and I figured this would be perfect to go with this image. So that is it, everybody. That is my card for you for today. Um, I will go ahead and have everything that I use in the description below. Um, and that's it. If you have, if you're watching at YouTube, though, all the, everything I use will be in this, just in the description. I don't think I'm putting it on my blog, but uh, it will be on my Instagram as well. Okay, everybody. So thank you so very much for tuning in. Have a fabulous weekend and I will see you all back here soon. Bye-bye.